Leica and Magnum, a partnership that has spanned more than three quarters of a century. The Spanish Civil War, the streets of Paris, some of the most defining photographs of the 20th century have been captured through the eyes of Magnum photographers and the lens of a Leica. Leica could be like a big passionate kiss, or then again like a shot from a gun, or the couch of a psychoanalyst. You can do anything with a Leica. Henri Cartier-Bresson Cartier-Bresson and his Leica gave birth to a photographic philosophy that would inspire generations of photojournalists. He called it the decisive moment. It was being present to see and capture that defining millisecond of the monumental, or of the mundane. The Leica saw what the photographer saw and reacted as quickly as he did. Compact and rugged, the Leica allowed photographers to enter into conflict situations in an unprecedented way. The 35mm strip film and light body enabled them to capture the events of war as they unfolded. Robert Kappa burst into photojournalism with a boldness and fearlessness that pushed his camera to the extreme. On June 6, 1944, the Allies landed on the beaches of Normandy in the largest amphibious assault in history. Kappa took his Leica and planted himself in the eye of the storm. The partnership between Leica and Magnum defined the standard of excellence in photojournalism in the 20th century. Iconic. Triumphant. Heartbreaking. The spirit of the century had found its medium. Magnum became a hub of photographic visionaries, photographers with diverse backgrounds and brilliantly different points of view. Bruce Davidson, Elliot Erwitt, and Konstantin Manos used the Leica not only to record the historic moments of their time, but to articulate their personal visions. Bruce Davidson hooked up with the teenage gang The Jokers in 1959, a meeting that would lead to the publication of his book Brooklyn Gang. Davidson and his Leica were allowed into a world teeming with passion, violence, and disillusionment. This was the underbelly of America, coming of age, facing an uncertain future. Equally intimate and frequently comical are Elliot Erwitt's photographs of street dogs. The work I care about is terribly simple, Erwitt has said. Above all, I want pictures that are emotional. His Leica allowed him to see the world from a canine point of view, and to capture emotions that we miss from above. Konstantin Manos was born into the segregated South, a child of Greek immigrants. From the beginning, I felt that I was an outsider looking through a window at the society around me, Manos has said. That window later became the viewfinder of my Leica camera. The Leica has become Magnum's passport to the world. In 1979, Susan Micellis took her Leica to cover the Sandinista insurrection in Nicaragua. As the violence mounted, Micellis found herself hiding in a building with a group of civilians. Through a barred window, she saw a guardsman approaching. One sound could have given away their hiding place. She took out her Leica and quickly took a picture. The shutter click was nearly silent. She later said, I took one photograph and thought the click would reveal us immediately. But the guard walked by. David Allen Harvey bought his first Leica when he was 12 with money from his paper route. Since then, his Leica has traveled with him all over the world. A personal fascination with the Spanish and Portuguese diaspora has led Harvey to photograph in Brazil for more than 20 years. The Leica lets him minimize the distance between himself and his subjects as he immerses himself in the traditions, rituals, and daily life of what he calls Brazil's divided soul. Alex Webb's images of Haiti are as contradictory as the island itself. Over ten years of investigation into the country with his Leica produced images that are both starkly beautiful and heavily layered. His take on Haiti is intensely personal. He has said of his approach, What does a street photographer do but walk and watch and wait and talk, and then watch and wait some more, trying to remain confident that the unexpected the unknown, or the secret heart of the known, awaits just around the corner. 
Larry Towell spent more than a decade documenting two Mennonite communities in Canada and Mexico. In a culture that does not allow photography, Towell brought a Leica to record unobtrusively the intimate, quiet moments of a deeply private society. The documentary tradition continues with Bruce Gilden's iconic work from Coney Island, Trent Park's epic road trip Minutes to Midnight, and Lee Sarfati's haunting portraits of young Midwestern American girls, New Life. Strong, individual work born from the relationship between Magnum photographers and Leica. In 1932, Henri Cartier-Bresson put a Leica viewfinder to his eye and saw a way to describe history. Today, Magnum and Leica are partnering to draw on their shared history, not only to look back at the iconic stories the relationship has produced, but to commission and publish new work from the current generation of Magnum photographers, Paolo Pellegrin, Alex Soth, and Jonas Bendixson. Imagine what the next generation of Magnum photographers will do with their Leicas. Imagine the future with Magnum. Imagine the future with Leica. <laughs>